as much as you love is as much as you grieve. Grief is the cost of having loved. Losing a pet can trigger immense feelings of grief. According to Ken Dolan Del Vecchio, author of The Pet Loss Companion, healing advice from family therapists who lead pet loss groups, we bond with pets in a similar way that we bond with little children. And the pattern for our daily life is built around caring for them. Look at them. I mean, they're so loving and they want to be near us and they want to please us and they don't give us any guff. <laughs> And it can be any kind of animal or pet that triggers these feelings of grief. And when they are gone, it can really shake up your world. You kind of reflect on these moments. You look in the corners of your house and they're not there. Grief can take many shapes and look different for everyone. There are some things that you should do if you want to take care of yourself during the grieving process. Dolan Del Vecchio suggests self-care, getting enough sleep, exercising, and meditating, adding it's also helpful to memorialize your pet in some way, painting a picture, writing a poem or letter. That way you get all of the churn that's going on inside of you, out of you at least a little bit. Dog owner Faith Kelsey Later. did something special to honor her childhood pet. So we got a stuffed animal and we made her um, into a, a stuffed animal and then we had her ashes put inside of it. Dolan Del Vecchio reads a passage from his book, a promise to people who are grieving, people who wonder if it will ever end. One day you will recall your lost pet and smile. Your grief, which may still feel raw as you read these words, will eventually lead you to that moment. Your pain will grow ever smaller but the love you feel for your pet will be yours to keep. Dolan Del Vecchio runs a Zoom group for people who are grieving their pets. You can learn more at dakinhumane.org.